Let's talk about the good yes. things. Yes. About these changes. Describe <laughs> images. We, we don't have to do 12 describe images anymore. That's just, <laughs> sorry, seven describe images anymore. That's really good. <laughs> and we're here today to talk about the changes that we recently had announced by Pearson on the PT exam. Um, first of all, I'm going to show just the official PDF so we can understand what are the changes. And then we are all going to discuss um, yeah, and give our opinions about it. Mm, so does anyone want to go through the changes or should I go ahead? <laughs> yep, all yours, Michelle. All right, okay. So um, the first change is that the exam the duration will be reduced from three hours to two hours. So we're no longer having the break that was optional before, the 10 minutes break. We're not having that anymore. Um, the personal introduction is still there, it's still one minute, and speaking and writing will go from 77, um, sorry, 77 to 93 minutes to 54 to 67. Reading section, same thing, we're going to have a reduction of about 10, 11 minutes from 32, it used to be, well, used to be, it is until the 15th of November, just from the 16th of November onwards, that these changes are going to apply. Um, so from 32 to 41 to 29 to 30, and the listening use, it will be until the 15th from 45 to 57, and then it's gonna start being from 30 to 43. So let's look at the changes, individual changes on each band. Um, so these ones in oranges, as we can see, are the ones that are, are having the amount of questions reduced. So describe image, retell lecture, answer short question, and summarize written text. They will be reduced by half. Yeah, each one of them by half. Um, and then, oh, sorry, and summarize written text as well. So instead of two or three, we're just getting one or two. And then we have the reading, just the multiple choices. So instead of two to three, we're going to have one to two. And in the listening, um, all the multiple choices um, format are dropping from two to three to one to two. And the summarizes spoken text, which is the first one, which is 10 minutes each. So it's not accounted on this time. It's going to be from two to three dropped to one to two. So these are the changes. And apart from that, we are also having the online, um, the PT academic online option, um, which is not accepted for migration purposes. So maybe for some universities, um, and this format will be valid for both. If you're taking the exam um, in a uh, test center or online from the 16th of November, this will be the new format. Anything else, guys, you'd like to add about the PDF? Did, um, did anybody notice that they're gonna put real repair graphs into listening? <laughs> They're going to put what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I only realized that now. They need to proofread this stuff. Come on. They need to proofread before Maybe, they post this. I, I, yeah, I think, yeah, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> no, wait, did they miss something I, here? Uh, it's just a typo. No, no. It's a they typo. It's got to be a typo. Because uh, there are eight tasks in listening, and I think there's yeah, all. Yeah. It's yeah, got to be a typo. Two, I was just joking three, around. Like, they didn't proofread this stuff. Nine, ten. Yeah, they're showing 10. Only, yeah, reorder paragraph. Right, yeah. So, I, so ignore sure this line here. <laughs> <laughs> I was just joking, yeah. guys. There's no reorder paragraphs in listening. Um, yeah. But I think a lot so, of people are already aware of this. Yeah. I think all of us probably have already announced this. So I think people are already aware of the changes. Yeah. But um, yeah, so how do you feel about these changes? What do you think this will do for the test? I'll, I'll stop the, rec the sorry, the sharing. I'll go back to us. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Here we are. <laughs> okay. So if we look at the speaking, we'll see uh, like read aloud and repeat sentence will stay the same, which means that the majority of points for speaking will go to those two tasks. And they were normally quite difficult for a lot of students already. So uh, I think now we have to place more focus on those. And I do. For yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I believe the main, the what I call the top four, which are the most important ones on the exam, they're not changing. Just the, like, I would say middle and bottom mm -hmm. part of the 
score table are the ones that are having a reduction on the amount of questions. So I think the, the main ones are still there, the same amount. So it won't be affected very much. Um, I'm just thinking, maybe let's talk about the good things. Let's talk about the good yes. things. Yes. About these changes. Describe <laughs> images. We, we don't have to do 12 describe images anymore. That's just, <laughs> sorry, seven describe images anymore. That's really good. <laughs> yeah. It's a shorter oh, test, so uh, that's better. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, shorter well, test is I, always I good because, before. like, yeah, because, like, after three hours, you just get really tired already. Yes. I think also um, just with the shorter tests, by the time you hit the listening section, um, I usually feel that my students have already sort of given up half yeah. of their chances by then. But I think with the shorter test and the removal of the break, um, you know, it sort of helps you to keep that concentration, which is definitely a good thing. Mm. Have you guys, ever, do you guys usually take the breaks when you guys take the test? Yes, I, I do. like Michelle the breaks. takes the breaks. Michelle likes yeah. the breaks. <laughs> and I tell my students to take the break. You know what? You're just over it. You've been there for two hours. You just need to stop for a bit to, I don't know, just walk outside the room, just mm. be in, get your energies back up and then go back in. I think you just, your energy is just drained after two hours of exam and then you're starting listening. And then until you get to write from dictation, which is super important, you're just like, oh, I can't handle this anymore. I just want to go home. So I always tell them to take the break. <laughs> yeah, I used to do that too. I used to tell them to get the blood running because the moment you sit, you stand up from, you know, a seated, seated position for however long, once you get the blood running, you know, you sort of get that mo motivation back. Um, so I found that students sort of like, when they notice that they've, you know, flunked out in the speaking, they sort of have that really low level of motivation for, you know, the last part of it, which like Michelle said, is really important. Um, but yeah, with that break in the middle, I think, you know, it helps them just to help, you know, recuperate. So yes, I did uh, used to take it, but now it's gone. <laughs> yeah, but it's good because now it's the, it's two hours, the whole thing. It's two hours, I think up to two hours. If mm. Like usually when it's a three hour exam, we always take in two and a half, two and something. So now it's two, it's going to be like an hour and a half. We'll be finishing the exam. Mm. So I think mm. it's pretty good. I, I liked it. Mm. Mm, yeah no i think i definitely yeah think a shorter test is better mm, less tiring mm. overall the, I, the the summarized spoken text they also reduced the number of questions which is good because students tend to make a lot of grammar or spelling mix in sm spoken text too so I, but i i was hoping that they will reduce essay questions because, you know, like normally they want, one, but then, you know, you have two questions, you just get really tired, like typing so many words and ideas. Yeah, yeah that's so. the thing that they didn't, they didn't reduce. I don't know why, but yeah. um, I hardly ever, I don't even think personally if I ever had two essays before. It's always been one, but there is a possibility you might get yes. two. Okay, maybe buy the lottery afterwards because that means you're lucky. <laughs> Okay. Or don't, because if you had to, you're not being lucky at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Glass is half empty. <laughs> and I, I, mm. another, yes, I think another overall, thing. it was a good change having all these questions okay. reduced. Um, one of the questions that I'm getting a lot from my students um, is, will the, um, the way the exam is scored change? So we don't have anything official from prison on how they score. I mean, the weight of each question, how many points each one has. Um, but in my, I don't know, I think my understanding is that if they're going to keep the same percentage for each of the questions, um, instead of, let's say, um, a, a specific question has 10% of the points. And now we no longer have 10, we're just having five. So these each individual questions, they're gonna have a little bit more weight on the on the point on your score. But I think the overall um, question, the overall exercise will have the same amount of um, weight and, uh, and points. But again, we're gonna have to wait, take the exam, test it as we've done before to understand better. So that's my... Um, opinion on how this is going to happen and yeah let me know i would love to hear what you guys think about that if you think the scoring is going to change in regards to the amount of points on each of these questions i um had very similar questions i think the majority um 
basically was about how the scoring distribution would change. Um, and like Michelle said, um, because we don't have official figures on percentage of weighting regarding each of the sections, it's very hard to make a definitive opinion about it. But um, I think this was my take on it. Uh, but I, I think that um, it really depends on the level of English that the student has. And the reason I say that is because if we compare to what it was before, um, when you have about you know the same number of questions of describe image as read aloud, uh, we can teach students to you know go through something like a template where they have base sentences to use and just have to add words. Um, and even if they have a lower understanding of English, they find it easier to catch on. But now, um, because those questions, the ones that you can wing, are basically falling, it just basically means that they do have to really rely on English. And I think this was a problem for, um, you know, for my students because I have a few students who literally cannot read out words. They can't make out the letters. Um, and they've been going by with, by relying on describe image and retail lectures by going through templates. But now if we have a, you know, less number of questions in describe image and that, those kinds of questions, obviously there's a heavier dependence on read aloud and repeat sentence, which require you to have correct answers, so to speak. So I think, yeah, um, I'm just worried that, you know, for people who have a lower level of English, it might affect them more than others who are okay in handling the language. So you think the the amount, like the percentage of scoring for these questions will actually increase? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure, you know, which way would be more correct, but I am worried that it may occur in that way. Mm -hmm. I am worried that in terms of getting a speaking score, if the number of questions of describe image and retail lecture fall, and because those are questions that we did approach, you know, quite thoroughly before, Obviously, when you have less of those questions and in comparison, more questions that rely on correct English, then it's going to, you know, have you have a heavier effect on people who used to wing by the test by just using mm. set phrases. Understand. Yeah, I actually didn't think that way. I actually thought that the whole group of exercises within that type of question will have the same weight, regardless if you're taking five or eight. Does mm. that make sense? Yeah. But it didn't, uh, yeah, I, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I, I'm half half, yeah. like, to be honest. Like logically speaking, I think yeah, also that's come to my mind as well. But at the same time, you know how you get worried about sense. certain students. Yeah. So I started to get worried um, thinking, okay, so if people are able to handle English in terms of reading out words, and if they already are able to achieve a score of roughly 70, then yes, okay, these these changes might be very minor. But I've got some students who are literally gaining 14 and 20 in their speaking score right now because they have only just learned the alphabet. And, um, you know, their improvements are quite fast mm -hmm. at the moment, but you can't avoid the fact that they struggle to read words in read aloud. So if that's the case for people like them, describe mm -hmm. image is something they really depend on heavily especially to get a fluency score mm. but now they've got less dependence on something like di to get to push their fluency score they have to rely on read aloud and repeat sentence to maintain that fluency okay mm. yeah well hey, you know like we we have to wait until you know like the the test comes out and then everyone mm. attend the test to to know however from my personal experience it will be harder because every year they're just making it harder. I remember in 2016, 2017, people were getting 90 speaking really easily. You just need it to just really, really fast. And then, um, you know, like it doesn't matter your content, you know, but then in, I think by November, 2017 changed pronunciation. Everyone was getting 10 in pronunciation. A lot of people were getting 10 and they didn't understand why. And then like, uh, turns out Pearson changed the algorithm to make to make the pronunciation harder so I, I i think it will be harder so we have to be prepared and we have to tell students to to you know start taking the test from now before november if they can yeah that's what i'm doing i think everyone's doing a bit of a rush job right now we're, we're trying to yeah. you know book in the tests and we're going on a rush and just you know relying on what we have now and just pass before yeah. it changes i think mm. if they um 
if they do it like um, the scenario, if it goes towards what Minky is describing, um, it still wouldn't benefit us to to only focus on the describe image and retail lecture because for myself, I, I prefer to only, not only, I prefer to focus on tasks that um, affect more than one module. So if you're looking uh -huh. at describe image, just if speaking. We're, yeah. If we, yeah, it's only for speaking. So we can't actually just rely on that anyways. So if people are, um, if people are uh, afraid that the, the scoring is going to change where the describe image will not weigh as much, um, oh. that should always be the focus anyways, because if you do your, your describe image perfectly, it still doesn't increase your chances of getting a high reading score. And reading is something that everyone struggles with. So if, if, if people are worried about the describe image, this is their motivation now to make sure they focus more on the, um, the read aloud because that's where you get your 30, about 33% of your reading score is from there, right? Yeah, and the repeat mm -hmm. sentence is the same. About almost 50% yeah. of your listening is going to come from your repeat mm -hmm. sentence. So by them taking away from the retail lecture and describe image, it just pushes you to, to, to actually... Um, <laughs> Yeah, focus on what's so you think so let me under, let me see if I understand um you guys think that whatever scores are are being removed because of the questions they're reducing the these scores these extra points would be going into other questions and not for the same questions within that exercise honestly I don't think anything is going to change I think if so this describe image is from six to three or seven to three seven to four whatever they do it it's just going to double. But honestly, honestly, when we do describe image, guys, we're basically just saying the same thing over and over, right? So but we're going to get the same points yeah. for saying it three times or saying the same thing for getting it six times, right? Like it's the same amount of points, which is how many times are you going to say the same thing, <laughs> right? So if they, because that's, I, yeah, mm, money. Yeah. No, no, I, I'm just saying, because like, um, so I posted a video yesterday about um, comparison between other English proficiency tests like if you compare to IELTS, OET, CA1, they all um, and TOEFL as well they all conducted for three up to four hours so wh why would they make it two hours so I, I don't think it's going you to want to make easier. money have more people coming in right after the other <laughs> yes, I don't think it's that way because uh, I, I think that they got a really um like a reputation of uh, you know like uh, co like comparing like they, they have been mm, brought into exposure to compare with IELTS for many times and then while well, a lot of people were not getting scores in IELTS but when they go to PTE they were getting really high score so they they trying to prove that they they can be a credible test which can be used not only in Australia but also maybe in the future in Canada or, or states no, no I, I totally agree um, because, see, this is my, like, this is regardless of the number of questions changing, um, I, the first thing that popped to my mind was the, the recent concordance report, um, which basically showed that all of the other tests were um, harder than the PTE in terms of getting the scores, which we know very well, you know, um, there are so many possibilities or ways to get higher scores in the PTE test. Um, which is the reason why there had been such popularity um, towards PT, especially in the earlier phase of implementation. Um, the recent test basically showed that the people who were achieving a seven um, in the IELTS test were getting relatively similar, but of 66, I remember. And then people who were getting an eight for the IELTS test were getting um, roughly about an 84 um, for the PT test. So that, I think, generated quite a bit of rumor at the time. Um, and I had so many calls um, saying, has PT changed their scoring? Um, so now people who needed to get 79, um, they're like, no, nah, I'm not getting 79 because within about one month, PT are going to change it. It's going to become 84. And, you know, this has been around for a year. And I just, like, I just keep telling them, look, uh, you know, this rumor has been going around for a year now. And as you can see, it hasn't happened. So you can't rely on things that are, you know, that are not, you know, official. But in saying that, um, this is where I think Moni was trying to approach it in a, in a similar way as well. That's why I thought maybe people who already have a stable level of English in terms of approaching, you know, the question properly, like able to correctly write a sentence, I don't think they will be affected too much because obviously they are approaching it in a legitimate way. 
But yeah. for those of um, for those who literally are not doing any kind of English to do this test, um, obviously it's going to affect them more. That that was my take on it. So technically, yes, becoming harder, but um, becoming becoming harder for people who obviously weren't using English in a proper way to do the test. That's that's what I that that was my take on it. Um, and I just told my students, look, logically looking at the changes in the questions and distribution. There's not nothing to actually change in terms of our approach. Um, you know, it doesn't change the way you study. But for those uh -huh. who were re literally planning just to wing it without paying any sort of attention to English, obviously, yes, it will affect them. And for them, yes, it will become harder. Mm -hmm. That was my personal take on it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been actually telling my students if they don't have an expression of interest to put on, like to submit, or they're not in a rush to increase um, their points for a visa application, I'm telling them just wait till November because I think it's better to take an exam that it's two hours long than three because I think you would be, you have more energy throughout the exam. Um, yeah. And I don't know, I'm, I have this feeling that you won't affect how other sections and other questions are scored my again feeling we don't know anything it's not official <laughs> is that whatever um percentage of score you have for the scribe image it will just be redistributed within the scribe image so if we had 10 questions and 10 percent each question was one percent and now if we only have five each question will be two percent so that's how mm -hmm. i understood the changes but again we're going to have to wait, take the exam, and then take the exam again, doing the tricks and stuff to see how it's actually going to work mm. out. So for but either guys, way, I think we shouldn't worry too much. Yeah, we shouldn't shouldn't be like worry and scared. Like, you know, it's yeah. not helping at all. Yeah. It doesn't, so it doesn't help at all. Like, it won't resolve anything being worried or scared. <laughs> Sorry, Sonny, go for it. <laughs> oh, no, what I'm curious about is because I'm not really concerned about the, the question part. And like I was joking with you guys through text as well, where people asked me about that. Um, and my response was, I'm actually not concerned about the, um, the changes in the questions. My main concern is actually with the changes in the score report. That has nothing to do with the student. But I feel like the score report now, I know how to read them. And they're talking about changing the score report, and I feel like that's going to affect how I read the scores, how mm. I can determine. Um, mm, that's right. What needs I think to be improved. It, yeah, I think it's just going to take us a while to understand the new enabling skills, which will no longer be the enabling skills. So yeah, we didn't mention that change when I went through the changes. So yes, there will be a change um, to the enabling skills. They will no longer come out as enabling skills, but we don't have more information on that. Apparently, it's coming out in October, so next month. We're gonna hear more about that. Um, but yes, yeah, so I think the same way that when we started understanding, taking mock tests or tests, and oh, let's only complete this question, let's keep this one, let's see how it affects oral fluency, pronunciation, grammar and stuff. It's gonna be like a new world for us to understand how these will be affected. So for that instance, I think it's gonna take us a while to understand how um, the student is going because we no longer will have the enabling skills as we know it. Um, but I think we might have more in, I'm always positive about everything. <laughs> so the same way I'm like, yeah, it's a good change. I'm also thinking it might be more helpful. We might know more of how the student um, is actually doing on the exam to understand mm. what can be approached to improve. But again, it's just yeah. my feeling. Also, I might be wrong. Also, yeah. Well, because yeah. be, be, based on that, that's that's when the question is asked. I don't know if you guys are being asked the same question. This is the number one question I'm being asked is should they wait for the test, right? Um, for me, my response is no, because that for that reason itself, not because of the questions changing. I don't know what you guys have been um, um, saying to yeah. your students, and I just want to hear your thoughts. But because I don't know what's gonna what the score report is going to look like in the future, so I might not be able to assess it right away to know what you need to improve. So for that risk, I'd rather mm. deal with the known now and then the unknown. So I tell people mm. no, they shouldn't wait for the new test. I don't know what you guys Same. think. Same, yeah, Same because got, they might yeah. add new questions. They might add, like, replace the current questions too. 
<laughs> oh, you mean a new database? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah, no, I'm in, the, I'm in the same boat, but um, for a different reason because I've, most of my students have their visas expiring very soon, so they really don't have time to fiddle around with new things. Um, and I think it's always a rule of thumb. Look, you know, if you've studied up till now and you're already prepared, there's just no real reason why you have to wait 100%. for a new system, um, you know, as opposed to, you know, just doing it now. I just don't see the benefit of waiting. Um, yeah, and for the same reason I told – uh, my students exactly the same thing as Sonny and I said look you know there's if there are changes to the scores um, then we just it's just unexpected we don't know how we are going to find out what we're weak at um, and you know ways to improve it's just going to be a whole new ball or it potentially may be um, which means that you know it's it's better to be constructive now when we know what we're talking about um, okay. Yeah, so they're, they're my thoughts, really. I'm just worried that the, the feedback that they give is going to be sort of like IELTS. Has anyone seen the IELTS feedback that they give? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I was I've seen. concerned with. Yeah, yeah. oh so my is God. It I, similar? Yeah. The, is um, it a new one or is it the same from before? Because I haven't seen like it's IELTS results for a while now. Yeah, no, from my um, understanding, I think the last time I actually um, saw one of the students' feedback was probably about six months ago. Uh, but that had not changed since the last time I saw it, which was like a, a year ago from that again. Oh, okay. And yeah. the feedback had been very similar and very unconstructive. Like it was... Yeah, it's very vague. Yeah, it's very like vague. it's technically correct, but it just feels like if I was to, um, you know, sort of compare this with the PT, it's sort of like, um, yeah, you just need to be more fluent. Like, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> And it, and it sort Very of feels like helpful. Saying, yeah, and it's like you got a low fluency score because you're not fluent. You know, that's oh, what it feels that like. You know, oh. yeah, like that's how IELTS feedback has always felt to me. Like it, it just hadn't been any much more inform informative than that. Um, and I'm sure PT will find a way because obviously they're reducing the test time. Um, then not, and the cost is still the same. So I feel that. Um, the, the reason why they're taking that out and maybe replacing it with the feedback, so to speak, is simply because it's a way of covering, you know, the lost dollars. <laughs> cost. The cost. Like, no, I'm paying $375. I need to do it for three hours. Why are you cutting my hours? hours? <laughs> <laughs> three hours. Let me take a nap here. <laughs> I mean, I mean, oh yes, I, 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 I admit that's like, you know, it's just a stupid approach to, you know, it was just a thought that carried by. But yeah, um, going back to the point, I'm just, yeah, it's the, no. the feedback. I'm just worried about the type of feedback that they give. I like, I like the enabling skills because, for example, if the students have done the test for four times, he can actually track, like he's like, okay, the second time my, my fluency went up by this, like five points. And then this time, like, five, like he can see the progress, you know. We exactly that's yeah and, and we yeah. usually put that on an excel you know <laughs> and you track everything you put it on a graph and it just magically works yeah. out you know this is what you did and this is how it changed <laughs> yeah and now we, we've lost that and i'm like thinking uh oh <laughs> yeah and even it was that, that but there's something new coming so yeah maybe yeah, something but, better okay I, don't yeah, know. I like, I like michelle's edit attitude michelle's like so <laughs> positive which is good i mean we, we just need to be prepared, you know, like just come to, I'm ready, you know, like. Yeah, I think that as Minky said, if the students are ready, they take it now, but if they like, they're not in a rush, they're still studying. I don't see like, oh my gosh, take before the 16, oh, everything's oh, gonna sure. happen. Like it's the end of the world. It's okay. It's gonna be the same yeah. thing. It's just gonna be shorter. It's gonna be less energy that you're gonna have to spend during the exam. But I do understand that the, new enabling skills that they might not even be called enabling skills anymore um will be different and will be like taking baby steps for us for us to understand how the student is actually going but it's the of course it helps us heaps just by looking at a result mm -hmm. but we can still help them by okay let me see you doing a read aloud and oh yeah mm -hmm. i can see this one is not really working out so let me see how let me see the answers that you usually give for a write from dictation oh you you have a lot of spelling mistakes mm -hmm. so we can still um track how they're doing mm -hmm. it just won't mm -hmm. be that quick at the beginning i think mm -hmm. like we're a team mm -hmm. we're going to be sharing our experiences once this new um kind of result comes out and then we're going to start doing our tests and then we're going to be communicating like oh i tested not doing this one and this came out and just like it, it was at the beginning with the enabling skills. Mm -hmm.
I was yeah. just thinking. I was just thinking. But all of a sudden, I remembered um, Michelle's in uh, Melbourne. I was thinking when they make that change, let's just go all take it at the same day. <laughs> all of us. <laughs> all together. <laughs> yeah, oh, we can actually take it at home now. Oh, no, no. It's only but that's not too late on. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry? It's not accepted for immigration, right? It's yeah, but it's going to be the same form. scoring, same thing. So it doesn't make any yeah, difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unless oh, you're playing to migrate, Sonny. <laughs> What's that? Unless you're preparing for migration at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I I'm not trusting. In my life. <laughs> I can't trust my computer and my internet connection at home. You know, <laughs> <laughs> $35 and then the internet is not working in the middle of like, <laughs> three sentences. Yeah, that would be quite interesting on how they're gonna, because with the mock test, when it stops, that's it. The whole result is just ruined and the whole thing just comes out. You have to take the whole thing again. So it's going to be quite, um, yeah, a challenge for them to control all of that. That's what I found very interesting because um, looking at the, have you guys actually seen the C, uh, CCL website where it shows like, you know, what you need to have prepared before the test? You know, they give you all this technical information and they literally say that, you know, your computer has to be like set at this, you know, particular setting and your internet needs to be stable. And I was just reading through it going, yeah, look, I really would like to have that internet. But even right now, I would have no idea when my internet would cut out. And especially in Australia, when you had the wind blowing, the internet goes with it. You know, you know, I had so I many am? cutouts. You know yeah, this is Australia. Yeah, I know. In lockdown, everyone is using the internet. It's just crazy. It is. So I'm just thinking, how do you set that up? How do you, you know, <laughs> forecast how your internet will be and what happens if you literally did not deliberately do it, but your internet just cut out? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have no, to figure like, out. Oh, yeah. by, yeah. by, by the way, we by, by the way we have to confirm to students that changes will be applied to all tests, not just the 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 online at home test, right? Yeah. Say that again. I think. Yeah. I think I it will be. Clearly. Say that again for me. <laughs> <laughs> so the new test format changes will be applied to all PTE oh. tests. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah. Online? The PT uh, academic UK v, VI as well, UK visa. Well, it's not oh. just, um, mm. yeah, it will affect us all. Yeah, it's not just the, uh, yeah, the online one, right? Yeah, mm. that's, that's interesting to know that um, uh, some of us yeah. think it's only certain tests. Yeah. So, so is it is it safe to say, like, I'm assuming from hearing from you guys, um, the opinion is that, well, I know straight up from Michelle's opinion is that she said, if you're not in a rush, then you can wait. But if you are in a rush, of course, you just take it before the 16th. Yeah. What if you guys, been, is that the same thing you tell you, your students as well? Like Michelle, I mean, um, uh, Minky and Mani? Yeah, I generally do. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's. I mean, there's no reason why you'd need to suddenly rush into studying and preparing a test that you haven't done before just to get it in before November the 16th. You know, there's just no real reason for that. Mm. I, it's really up to students. It's really up to students, like, as well. So um, normally every year I will tell students to do, to do the test before November, every year. Because oh, every that? year, they, uh, because uh, like every year they make some changes in November. Either they add questions or they change something with algorithm. So, um, gotcha. and, I, and I understand why the test will be harder because, you know, the system is getting smarter. They, they invest a lot in AI. And they have more database now. They can recognize a lot of accents and the pitch and everything. And, you know, even like what students have written uh, all like spoken. So I totally understand. And, uh, but if your English is good and if you prepare really well, you don't have to worry about, you know, the chance. And if you, you focus more on skills, I think this is what they want. Like focus more on skills rather than depend too much on the templates mm. and the, the, the tricks. Even just, though, I mean, the, the template, yeah, it's still going to work, but it's just like, you need to depend more on the skills. Mm. Yeah, mm. because all the tasks, that's why you see in the changes in the questions, the questions that are changing with fewer questions are all the ones, well, not all, but the, all the ones basically that can use templates because they're not really going to do much for you anyways. They're not going to be the reason mm. why you get a high score. 79, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. No. Supplement, you still mm. need to exercise. <laughs> 
You still need to speak English to pass the PT. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the biggest message I've been giving everyone because I've had so many students spending about six months being told by friends simply that you have to memorize and that's it. And then they, you know, oh. they spend six months doing it and then they come to me to have lessons. And then they're like, oh, well, everyone's saying it's easy. You just have to memorize and that's it. And why am I not getting a score? And I'm like, well, you have to recognize that it is an English test and you need to speak a bit of English to do the test, you know. And uh, I spend so much time, you know, just telling them, look, templates, yes, they will work and they will help. But that's not the foundation of the test. And as long as you have a foundation, then I don't think these changes will, you know, change you too much. But if you don't have any foundation, then yes, this test will become harder, like it's intended, you know, possibly, potentially. That's right. 25% of the yeah, test, right. like 25% of the questions can use templates. There's still mm. 75% of the tests that's required for English. And Sorry, I think that was just my frustration oh, coming oh, out of my whole five. week. Yeah, the whole week I've just been explaining the whole thing, like, you know, to like a thousand different people. And I was just like, oh my mm -hmm. God, I should make this into a video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys tried it, but I tried to use templates in some other places and it didn't work. I tried to use a template and read aloud and repeat sentence. And it didn't mm. work. <laughs> so there's no templates there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just to test it out i just wanted to try it, it just to make fun. sure <laughs> you know, sure. i've always gotta... i've always wanted to to go to the same test center when sony goes there <laughs> i just wanted to be in the same room just to listen just eating some popcorn and, and watching <laughs> <laughs> i've always wanted but to I, do I, that i tried i tried crazy things to see if it works but yeah that didn't work i got 20 in speaking when i did that well, it wasn't a template. In repeat sentence, it wasn't a template. I said, I have no idea what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about for every single sentence. Uh, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work I it wonder didn't why. Work. <laughs> I'm kind of glad it didn't work. <laughs> Just don't know, you know. Hey, but before, before you know, Monty talked about the changes, right, in the past. But before when the algorithm wasn't as smart, the things that we used to say, the things that we used to say for the yeah. time image and retail lecture, right? That's why you made me think like, Man, if I can say this garbage here, let me try it in the repeat sentence. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It used That's to be, great. I think every year and every, I don't know, every set of months, they're improving mm. their artificial intelligence. Yeah. Which is a good is. thing. Mm. Depends to it's who. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, it's a good thing because otherwise it's not, it's not going to last long, you know, like otherwise the IELTS, like IELTS or TOEFL organizers will be like, oh, why, why are you guys expecting this test on the same level as us? Like, you know, as like IELTS and TOEFL, but then because they make those kind of improvements, but the test is not going to be like, like, you know, significantly harder or anything like mm. that. And uh, at the same time, I, I feel like the reason why I tell students to book the test ASAP is because when you book the test, more motivation to study for it. Otherwise, a lot of students just procrastinate. They're just dragging. I have students who've been studying for one year already. No. And he's like, oh, I, I get 40 years. That's fine. Like my, my visa is not going to expire until two years later. So I'm, got, I'm just <laughs> going to keep studying. And I'm like, man, you need yeah. to do the test already. For migration, yeah. you can actually use a three-year-old three test. Years, yeah. 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 For some, some, some levels of English, not all. The lowest one you can't, but yeah. Mm. Okay. I, I noticed that if people don't have a test date, they're not as motivated. So I usually mm. tell them, or even when they ask me for classes, I ask them first. Did you Let's be honest. <laughs> We're the same. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we don't have a set yeah. date to launch that thing or to deliver something. We'll do the same. It's just the way we we yeah. behave, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. It's mm -hmm. so, it's so, that's true. right. I mean, yeah. yeah you're, Absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think that's about it. About the, the changes. And I think we, we just wait until October to see if there's some updates in regards to the report. Yep. And then yep. we got, yeah. And then we'll make another year. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll see each other again. Right. It was, it was nice catching up with everybody <laughs> as well. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, being. yeah, I think it's yeah. been a month um, in that time, and I, I've yeah, I've actually had quite you know good feedback about like all of us as in having that session we had, you know, the live session, um, and they were all like, oh, you know, it's good that these people are actually getting together and you know discussing yeah. things because at least we know that you know there's going to be less differing information floating around the internet, um, which was that's good. Right. So that's, I think that yeah, idea. today would really clear things up as well. 
Perfect. Totally. I just wanted to get your guys' opinion as well, because, you know, we're in this by ourselves. And it's like, I think I spoke with Michelle before. She was always like, we have nobody else to talk to. But now we do. We do. You know, we oh, reach out to each other. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we, we don't get a manual from yeah. PT, like telling us. Exactly. That was, that, yeah. That's just exactly what I was going to say. Like, we don't have now how the scoring works and we we were able to figure it out so it would be the same when the new whatever new comes out and we'll, we'll be fine we'll be fine yeah we'll be fine that's okay it's just an english test guys just think about it that way <laughs> <laughs> you know but yeah okay thanks thanks guys all right, all right. yeah good luck with the test everyone if you're taking <laughs> this for no because of november <laughs> Oh, you're not uh, talking yeah. to me. <laughs> <laughs> you too. <laughs> not you guys. All of us. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Guys. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. -bye.